So a lot of the coverage you see from Sia, especially over the years, has been on these crazy flagship products. But I think one of the coolest things about the show that doesn't get the coverage it deserves are these big paradigm shifts, these things that happen that change the industry and change tech, and I think in turn kind of change consumers. And I think the smart home is one of them. We've heard the term smart home for years now. We've seen selective smart home products. But finally, we are at the shift where the smart home, like the vision of everything connected inside of your house is becoming possible. So I figured I would I'd sit in this like kind of house-ish setup and show you what the vision for the connected home is. And beyond that, what you can do with your home right now and some stuff that like maybe might be coming. All right, so I am at the Bosch booth in CES 2018. I think they have one of the most comprehensive smart home visions. And what that means for a smart home is obviously all of your devices are connected, but that connectivity goes with you. Whether you are on the road, whether you're traveling for work, because when you're sitting on your couch using your voice, you can control what's in your home, and I think more importantly, make your home work for you. So obviously you can use your voice to change the thermostat, change the temperature up and down, that stuff that we've seen. Using your voice to control 360 degree cameras and then hide that camera so it's not on all the time. Having things like smart switches and smart outlets that you can plug anything into, and suddenly that takes them online. And obviously beyond that, using your phone. It's so using an app to control everything in your home but there are also times when you're not near an Alexa or a voice enabled device you don't have your phone with you you want something sort of tangible to control all of these things it's something called a twist about right on your wall and magnetically you can sort of pull it off and you can physically see all of the things that you control in your home control them move them change temperatures move cameras close doors put it right back on the wall and you're good to go. So my vision of the smart home I think is twofold, to make my life easier and to solve problems. So behind me we've got the Rockster, it's a robot vacuum from Bosch and we've seen robot vacuums now for, for a super long time. But this does a few new things that we haven't seen before. So first it'll use lasers to map out your house and you can set sort of go or no go zones. So in my house I've got pets and their food and water bowls are on the floor. I've got robot vacuums that I set to go and ends up just pushing them all over the place. So I could set a no-go area. That's kind of cool. And of course you can control it also from your phone. So all that stuff are things that exist, but it wouldn't be CS without sort of concept stuff that we might see. And like we've seen smart lamps before, you can turn them on from your phone, but this lamp has a projector that projects an image down and almost turns into a touchscreen. They've got it set up to even play games, to see the air temperature, to project anything, to see your doorbell. That's another way to interact with surfaces. It's so obviously being the connected home, the kitchen's gonna be a big part of it. All of your stuff that you use at home can be connected. Things like your oven, your coffee machine, even your dishwasher. You can be notified via if to set up a custom pattern when a dishwasher is done or the dryer cycle is done. Flash the lights or play your favorite song. Another way that you can make your house smart. So there's a lot of cool potential for the connected home. A lot of stuff is here now and a lot of stuff, I think it's still coming in the future, things we're waiting for. Things like smart glass and smart mirrors, sort of on the cusp of becoming reality. But what Bosch has here and now is absolutely awesome. So if you want to know how to never search for a parking spot again, hit the link down below. We've got a longer cut that's gonna explain that and a ton of other cool ways to use the Internet of Things to make your life easier. Hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when new CES videos are coming your way. Till next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo, and I legit feel like I'm standing in the future.